So I think myself, Dr. Chapman and Dr. Patel were one of like the first 300 plus people that were educated or trained on how to use the DRG in the US. We have a lot of experience for DRG for different treatment modalities. Well, I mean, I've used it for RSD. Um, I've used it for low back pain. I've used it for peripheral neuropathy. There's a lot of different diagnoses that you can use DRG for. Um, and we're just learning about it still. Low back pain is one of those really hard um, pathologies to treat. Um, it's one of the biggest reasons that you know anyone in medicine sees patients. It's actually, I think, the number one diagnosis for someone to go to uh, to a doctor. A lot of the times, it's treated with you know standard injections, you know standard medications, physical therapy, but sometimes it's that's just doesn't work. So you have to keep going past that. So what we've seen is that. We have these patients that standard treatment just hasn't worked for them. Um, they've had the surgery. They may have even tried standard uh, spinal cord stimulation that hasn't worked. We, we did a, a patient, and I love the comment. She said, I actually am kind of weird, weirded out because I don't know how it feels to live without pain, to wake up in the morning and just be like, I don't have pain. And that's pretty amazing. So with DRG technology, placement is different in the sense that it's on the dorsal root ganglion and not on the dorsal um, aspect of the spinal or in the dorsal epidural space. That's unique in itself, but, but very specifically, we've been using a T12, going at the level of T12, um, to see whether or not that covers low back pain, and that's what we've found. So how I typically explain is that you're having pain signals that are being sent to the brain that are firing wrong. And the idea behind the spinal cord stimulator is that we can help block those signals to go to the brain. Specifically with the DRG, we're doing it at the level of where these signals are entering the spinal cord. So that allows us to stop it before you're able to sense it. Most of the time, these individuals don't have anything mechanically wrong anymore, and the pain is neuropathic. So this, the, the nerves are misfiring. And the idea is, let's fix that misfire. Let's short a short circuit. The amplitudes the, that the DRG fires at are much, much, much lower. So, and the placement can be done so that you don't have to use as much power to make the individual not feel the, um, the pain signal. So traditionally, with um, spinal cord stimulation, the idea was that you would use paresthesias to offset the pain signal. Nowadays, we're finding that you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but with specifically with DRG, you were able to make it that the patient doesn't have the, that tingling sensation. And while some people like that tingling sensation, most don't. And the, the lack of that tingling sensation makes it so that you're more like your everyday life where you're able to live and you're, not, you're no longer cognizant of I do have something in my body. You're just going about your daily life.